Hi guys, this will be a very quick video on doing the FreeSky Mod 2, either a Turnigy or an Urgle radio control system. Um, this is my radio, which I've already done the Mod 2, and basically what I've done is I've got the um, bind switch and the LED on the front screen, on the front of the radio, and hopefully you can see that. And you've also got the switch, which is the three-way switch. Um, that switch only comes with the two-way free, free sky module. So what we have here is two modules. We've got the standard one, which is this one here. And basically you've got your bind switch and your LED. And these are the cables that you hook up to your radio. And you've got your antenna connector. And there's also this version. And this is a part of Thomas's Christmas Christmas present, which is his FPV Christmas present. And this is the Free Sky two-way module. Pretty much exactly the same as the other one, except it also can't, well, it's got the same bind switch, LED. It also has the three-way switch, and also um, the antenna connector. So it's basically the same thing. Um, essentially, the only difference is. On the actual uh, module, you have these uh, three connectors, sorry, four connectors, and this will basically receive telemetry from your receiver straight to your radio control. I think you've got to buy an LCD or something along those lines for it, which I'm not sure whether we're going to do at this stage or not, but um, we bought one of these just in case, just gives us compatibility with two different type of receivers that Hobby King stock. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is basically um, open the radio control up. First thing we've done is uh, I've already removed the battery, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to need to undo one screw number one, two, three, four, five, six. Before we do that, we're going to actually unscrew this module. I'll show you exactly what we need to do. Okay, I've unplugged it, removed it. Now, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but what we need to do is basically desolder the antenna which is connected to this uh, those connectors which is the what is it the active and the um, ground just desolder those and once we do that we can actually remove this circuit board and we can just pull that out of the back And the modules is connected. What we want to do now is remove this circuit board. And once we remove this circuit board, we can put the module back in there, and that basically leaves the back looking finished. If you're doing this, be careful you don't cut your hands. There we go, and it's removed. What we can do now is put this guy back together again. So now we open up the radio control. So once you've taken the screws out, open it up. And what we need to do is unplug Show sure well you can see that. Uh, that connector there. And just do this very carefully. There we go. And for now we can put this part aside. Antenna pulls out. Unscrew this screw here and that's off now and the antenna is out you can put these aside we won't need these anymore now what I do next is I actually cut a little bit of this away this plastic and what I want to do is just basically poke that in there and that's pretty straightforward to do 
just be careful you don't cut your hands. Okay, the process is pretty simple now. Once you've actually cut that away there, you should be able to fit this guy in pretty easily. And he's in the center. Grab your antenna. This is the Free Sky antenna. And once I've got that in there, it shouldn't really move. And the holes, I don't know how well you can see that, the hole is completely plugged up and all you really need to do now is just get a bit of hot glue in there. You don't need too much either. Now once that's on, that's pretty much it, that antenna won't move and we'll be able to still remove the antenna and replace it. So that should work quite well. Now the other thing I've done is I've moved away, removed a little bit of the heat shrink from the top of this. And what I can do now is pop this guy in there and it fits in quite nicely and sort of try and center it. So what we'll do is Pop a little bit of hot glue in here. You don't need very much for this. Hot glue's in there. Slide it in. Okay, what you're trying to do is basically center it so these two connectors will still function okay. So basically these two will still hit the circuit board. So sort of hold that in place once that sets. This is really set. It shouldn't really move anywhere. So there you go, that's pretty much in place now. And the antenna, you can unscrew it. It comes out perfectly. And screw it back in again. Now the next thing I do is just basically trim these guys down because they're, they're quite long. We don't really need them this long. and they've been trimmed down and then all we need to do is just tin them they've already got a little bit of solder on there I just like to uh, freshen that up a bit soldering line's not quite hot enough at the moment there we go That's it. Okay, this is going to be a little bit awkward, but um, I'm going to try and solder this in place with my iPhone in the way. I'll try and do the best I can. So basically what's going to happen, we've got three connectors. We're looking at the top three connectors. Yellow will go to the top one, black will go to the second one, and red will go to the third one. And that's pretty much all there is to it. One, two, I don't think I did a very good job of that one. I'll try again. solder on there. Don't want my son to lose a plane. That's better. Much better. So that's pretty much all there is to it. The free sky module is now in there. Um, it's just a matter of tidying these cables up a little bit so they don't foul up and interfere with anything. just basically keep that guy in there. I don't want that fouling up anything with the radio control. Now the next thing we need to be able to do is basically drill off a couple of holes in the radio control. Now if you have a look at my 
Ergol Radio, what I've done is I've actually placed my switch up here. And we're going to do the same thing with radio. Sorry, this is the bind switch and the LED on the front of the actual unit. And the other switch goes over there. So that means we're going to drill a few holes. Two holes here and one hole over there. So that basically means in this radio control here, what we need to do is drill a hole about here somewhere so we can tuck this switch through. So all that's a matter of doing is basically taking these off. Whoops. And measuring up. That's about a 5.8 millimeter hole. So we need to put a 5.8 millimeter hole in here. And that's the first stage. And then the second stage will be measure the gap between these two. Now obviously they're all going to be a bit different. It depends where this um, LED is actually soldered. Um, they don't always get them straight, so it's just easy enough to um, measure centre point to centre point. And that's about a 7.5mm 7 point, 7 distance between the two. Uh, and from what I can tell here, that's a 3.34 say. And two. So basically a bigger hole for this one and a smaller hole for that one. And where we need to drill those holes. Now I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this. So what we need to do is basically drill a couple of holes in here. And that PCB board will go in there. So I'll do those and come back shortly. Okay, so what we've done is I've drilled the hole in there. And I can pop this guy in here. Uh, washer in top. And I should be able to screw that in place. Okay, that's in nicely. So that's firmware update, uh, two way switch, and the one way. So that's for the uh, one-way receivers, if you're using the two-way FreeSky receivers and firmware. So there you go, that's done now. It's just a matter of now drilling the two holes in this section here, which is to make sure we get those pretty much spot on. Okay, so what we've done is we've drilled the two holes, as you can see in there. I'll flip it around, and there you go, so the holes have been drilled. And all we need to do is basically slip this little circuit board in through here, pop it through the holes, hold it in place, and then put a little bit of hot glue on either side of it, and that's pretty much it. So I'll get the hot glue gun going and quickly hot glue that in place, and we'll continue on. Okay, so what we've done now is basically hot glued the uh, PCB board in place. The antenna's already connected. And it's just a matter of carefully closing this up and making sure you remember to connect this cable. Now obviously when you're closing it up you need to make sure these pins are clear and the wiring doesn't get in the way. So we just need to do that very carefully. Okay, so once you've got it all closed up, just make sure everything moves freely as in the um, controls. Put all the screws back in place. Okay, so basically putting the last screw in place. So that's in place now. The module, uh, this is empty now. This goes in the back again. What we need to do now is put the battery back in again. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much in place and fire it on and it's working. Okay. 
there we go. Yeah, it's all working and working fine. Okay guys, so this is uh, Thomas's Tech Sumo and what we've done, we've done the Free Sky mod to his radio control and I wanted to show you how it works. So we make sure we have this in position too in this case because we're using a I'll show you exactly what we're using. We're using the two-way receiver. So that's the receiver that we're actually using. Come close. In focus. So that's the receiver that we're actually using, which is the two-way receiver. So we're using the two-way module. So hence, we're going to use the middle position on that switch. We'll close this up. And radio control is on. That's all ready to go. We've set it to Texumo, which I've already got it done. Um, and as you can see, it's functional. So, this is Thomas's Texumo. We can see we've got your other ones working perfectly. Other ones. And elevator. Other ones all working a okay. Um, come close. Back to the front. Okay, so if you're wondering why we haven't actually got the camera on this uh, Texumo, as you can see, we've got one on the um, Bixler. The reason we haven't got the camera on the Texumo is because it doesn't actually work. So it's the first faulty item we've actually uh, received from Hobby King. And we're about to send it back to Hobby King, so we'll see how that goes, whether we get a return one pretty quickly or not. So I'm not sure whether that's going to happen or whether we're going to have to buy one. But um, we haven't got a camera for this at the moment, which is a real pain. So the option we have is either I use the one out of the Bixler and part with that and give that to my son, or do I make him wait so um, that's the dilemma we have at the moment but yeah so this is the um, Texumo which I might do another video on and actually show you all about it in terms of how we've actually gone about constructing it and um, some of the techniques we've used and what we've put together but basically a quick look at it that's the underneath there um, pretty neat it's actually not a bad little model it took a little bit of work to get it all together but um, it's come together pretty good um, I might do another video on that pretty soon. So, still waiting on that, but as you can see, the Free Sky mod works a okay with um, the Eternity. So, there you go. I hope you found that useful. And sorry we haven't done any videos for some time, but I've been busy with work. So, we should be back in full swing shortly with a whole lot of videos. It's a shame we haven't got the camera for this one because uh, we could have done a nice video on that. But um, thanks for watching.